welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Sarai and I upload videos every Wednesday. Um, but today I have a fun video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these fleece blankets. Um, they're super cool to make and they make great gifts. So with Christmas being around the corner, this would be the perfect DIY Christmas gift to give to your significant other, to your sister, to your nephew, anyone. I've made these for my husband and I made one for my nephew. I don't have a picture of the one I made for my nephew so hopefully I find one and I am able to show you guys the one I made for him. But I do have the one I made for my husband. It was a Dodgers blanket. Today I will be showing you guys how to make a Lakers blanket. Um, But yes, if you want to learn how to make these, just keep on watching. Okay, so I have my two fabrics right here. Um, I have this Lakers fabric that I'm going to be using. This is a pattern that I want. And then I I went ahead and grabbed a solid color. I chose purple because obviously it matches with the Lakers colors. Um, so I used about two and a half yards. Um, basically, it kind of just depends how big you want to make this. Obviously, the bigger you make your blanket, it's going to be a lot more work. Um, I feel like this is already time consuming, so I don't want to make it too big for this exact reason. I'm going to go ahead and cut this white trim right here because I don't like that, but that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So you're going to go ahead and lay your purple fabric on the floor and then you're going to go ahead and grab your other pattern. You do want to make sure you have them facing the right direction um, because if you guys pay close attention the fabric looks different. This is the back and then this is the front. So we want this side up because this side is going to be tied with the other side it's going to be like knotted. So I went ahead and laid my purple fabric on the floor. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add my Lakers fabric um, just to make sure um, I have the right size of the purple fabric. And you want to make sure you match your corners as much as you can. I had to go ahead and fold this, um, but my corners are still um, where they should be. Um, just because I don't have enough room in this room and I just feel like this is where I have the best lighting So this is where I'm going to be working at So I'm cutting a 4x4 four four square um, This is what works best for me And I know I said you want to make sure the fabric is facing the right direction With this one it's easy because it has letters But when you have a fabric that has the same pattern it could be kind of confusing so now I'm going to go ahead and do that to all my four corners. Um, if you want, you can just grab your square and put it on the fabric and measure it like that. So you don't have to use your measuring tape again. Um, it's totally up to you, whatever you guys prefer. So this is what I mean. You guys can go ahead and use your square to kind of figure out how much you guys have to cut. I also want to apologize for the autofocus was acting up and I didn't realize until I started editing. So now we're going to go ahead and cut the strips like this. Um, it's totally up to you if you guys want to make them thicker or if you guys want to make them thinner. Just keep in mind the smaller um, the strips are, the more work it's going to be. So I try not to make them too big, but I also try not to make them too small. Um, just because I don't want to be here forever making it. And I don't worry if every single one of them is the same size. I kind of just go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my strips. You want to make sure they line up with the square that you cut out. As you guys can see, I went ahead and cut all these. Um, so it's just like fringe going across. Um, I have not done this side because I feel like it's way easier if you go ahead and tie these before you start cutting um, all the other sides. So I'm going to go ahead and tie these into knots. So I'm only tying a knot. This is what works for me. Um, you can do two. It's totally up to you. Or you can always go back if you feel like you need to do double knots. If you do one, you do just want to make sure you're stretching out the fabric so it's tight enough. So I do like going over on um, them again sometimes and kind of just stretching them. I like for these to be stretchier and kind of just 
mess with them, make, make them tighter. Um, I feel like they look nicer when they are stretched out. I moved over to the living room. This is how it looks like so far. Um, it is important for you to have enough space because I'm like that. You can make sure um, it's not wrinkling up right there in the middle. You want to lay it as flat as you can. And here we have the final product. This is what it looks like. I went ahead and put it on my bed so you guys can kind of see. I do have a queen size bed. Um, so you guys can see it is a pretty good size. It's not thing too big, but it's nothing too small. It's just like a throw blanket that you can just cover yourself up when you're watching TV or if you're watching the Lakers or Dodgers game. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video for today. Um, these are super fun to make and you can make these super affordable. It kind of just depends on the pattern that you choose. Obviously, just because of the pattern that I chose, they were going to be pricier to make. Um, but these would also be a great gift for like a baby shower or anyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys will be trying these. Um, I will see you guys next week.